right, let's get started with the magic ring. There we go. All right. From here, I'm going to chain up two, and that is going to make my first half double crochet. Now that is gonna count as one half double crochet, even though it is a chain two, we're gonna pretend that it's a half double crochet. We're gonna count it as much. And we are going to do nine more half double crochets into this ring, and that'll give us a total of 10 stitches. Okay, so let's get started. Half double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, then pull through all three. And that's it. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through all three. That makes three. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through all three. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through all three. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through all three. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through all three. Let's see how many we have, because I've lost count. <laughs> Here's our first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So we have three more to go. That makes number eight. Oops, number nine. Try to keep my workstation clean here. And the last one, number 10. Whoops, and I dropped my stitch. Let's try again. It's the wonderful thing about crochet. You'll always come back to a loop. <laughs> Not like knitting where you drop a stitch, you have to, well, let's just say for me, that's a challenge. <laughs> crochet, it's much easier. Okay, so now we're gonna use the magic part of our magic ring by pulling this tail, we're gonna make this a very small little circle. So let's do that. It cinches it right up tight. Oops, I almost, almost pulled the wrong one there. Okay, so we're gonna pull that up nice and tight. See how small that circle is now? And we are going to close that up by doing what's called a slip stitch. Okay, slip stitch is we're gonna take our hook, it's got the loop on it, we're gonna insert it into the top of that chain that we made, which can be a little fiddly. Just give yourself some patience and time. Try to get it through both of those legs. There we go. Now we're gonna pull up a loop and we're gonna just pull through every part of the stitches. And that joins that up nice and tight together. Okay. So that is the end of round one. Round two, we need to put two half double crochets in each one of our stitches. And these V's are our stitches. Hopefully you can see those little V-shaped lines there. Those are our stitches. So we're gonna put two in each one of those. So we started off with 10, we're gonna move up to 20 at the end of this round. We'll have 20 stitches. We're gonna start by chaining two. Oops. And we're gonna actually pretend that that is our last stitch. Okay, now. Let's start with two half double crochets in the first stitch. So we're putting our yarn under that first stitch. Whoops, looks like I'm splitting my yarn a little bit. There we go. So there's one half double crochet and two half double crochets in the same stitch. Now we're gonna do that to the next stitch. See, here's the stitch and we're gonna try to work our hook down into that space underneath it. Yarn over, insert our hook, pull through all three, 
So we've got one in there. Now we need to put another one in the same spot. There. Okay, so now we're up to four already. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, my dog is barking in his sleep. <laughs> I'm going to pause this for a second so I can wake him up, poor puppy. <laughs> okay, I woke him up. I think he was having a dream. Okay, let's continue. Half double crochet, two of them into the next stitch. There's one. And there's two. And the next. Oops. Here's one. And here's two. And the next. Here's one. And here's two. And the next. Here's one. And here's two. Here's one. And here's two. Here's one. And here's two. We should be getting very close to the end at this point. Here's one. And here's two. Let me just do a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yep, and so we have to do one more work right here in this stitch. And here's our chain up. Now remember I told you that that first chain was going to count as our last half double crochet. And that is correct because this is number 19. And so this would mean number 20. So now we have to join there again. Okay, so we're going to insert our hook under there. And pull through. You want to kind of keep those a little bit tight so you don't get too much of a seam line. Okay, and that is the end of round two. So now round three, we are going to continue to make this bigger by adding stitches, um, but we are not going to do two in every stitch at this point. We are going to do two in the half of them and one in the rest. Okay, so follow me. We're going to start off by chaining up two, and again, that is going to be our last stitch, okay, because it's really coming out of here. And we are going to start with one stitch in the first spot, so just one. Now, I like to play this game where there's the new guy on the job. <laughs> We're going to have a new stitch coming in. And he's going to need a friend to help him along, okay? So we're going to put two together. Here's one. There's our new guy. And he needs a friend in the same stitch to kind of hold his hand. <laughs> There's another one. Okay, and that makes three all together. Three new ones. So here's one in the next stitch. And then two and three are going to go together. Number two goes with number three. Okay. There's number one. And the next two stay together. Two, whoops, something stuck there. <laughs> And three. And the next one. There's one. And the next one has two and three together. Two. And three. So it makes it pretty easy to remember 
how to add your stitches, how to do your additional stitches, because in round three, you're putting two and three together. In round four, you're putting stitches number three and four together. In round five, you're putting stitches number four and five together. Um, it always helps me to remember it that way. Um, there's lots of ways to remember. Okay, so this one we've got one. So the next stitch has numbers two, oops, and three together. Here's number one. Here's number two and three together. Here's one. Oops. Here's two. I'm holding on to my yarn so tightly that I'm not allowing it to fall to fall through. <laughs> All right, there are two in that one together. So here's one. Two and three go together. There's one. Two and three go together. Here's one. And two and three are going to go together. Now remember, this is our last stitch. So there's two and that will make three in the same stitch going together. Whoops. And we're going to join those at the top with a slip stitch. There we go. And that's the end of round three. And it is getting bigger. Look at that. So round four is more of the same. We're going to chain up two. Oh, and by the way, at the end of that round, you should have 30 stitches. Okay. So we're going to chain up two. This is going to be our last stitch in round four. And now we are going to start by doing a half double crochet in the next stitch, a half double crochet in the following stitch, and in the next stitch after that we're going to do two half double crochets and that is how we are going to do our increases for round four. So follow me along and we'll get there together. So here's one half double crochet in this stitch. one half double crochet in the next stitch. In the next stitch we're going to put two half double crochets. So we had one, two, this is three, and remember three and four are going to stay together. Number four is the new guy, he needs number three to stay with him, see? <laughs> and the next one, so one, and then two, And then here's three and four stays with number three in the same stitch. One, two, and three and four together. Okay, these rows are starting to get a little bit longer and I think you probably have the pattern at this point. So I'm going to let you finish this round and I'll meet you at the very end of round four. Okay, so I'm just about all the way around. I've got two visible stitches here and there's actually a little one here that's kind of harder to see. Um, so I'm just going to finish off. I'm gonna put one here one here and remember this first chain here counts as our last stitch so I've got one two I'm gonna have a number three right next to it 
and that's going to close that up. So here's number three going right up with number four. And I'm going to just join those with a slip stitch. And that closes up round four. Okay, so now we're going to move on to round five. It's going to be just the same. Like I said before, this is a very simple pattern. We're going to chain up two. That is going to count as our last stitch in this round. And we are going to do a half double crochet in the first three stitches. So there's one, two, three. And because this is the fifth round, the fourth and fifth stitches are going to stay together. Here's number four. And number five. Number five is our new stitch. He needs to stay with number four. Number four is going to show him the ropes. <laughs> All right, let's start another one. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. Here's four, and number five is going to stay with him in this same stitch. Four and five together. Let's keep going. One, two, three, four. Oops. And five stays with number four. Okay, just like before, I'm gonna let you take it from here on your own and I will meet you up at the end of this round. Okay, so I'm very close to finishing this round. Um, I've just got one more group of five to go. So here's one, two, three, and remember this one's number five, so number four is going to go right in between there. Four and five stay together. And we're going to join those two with a slip stitch in the top of our chain. Very good. At this point, you actually have 50 stitches around. We are increasing by 10 every single time. Um, I love the mathematics of it. <laughs> Something in me geeks out to the mathematics of this. But we are going to keep going. Um, so we're going to chain up two and we're going to start round six. So here's one, two. That is our last stitch in this round. And we are going to, I'm sure you can guess, <laughs> do a single, a single half double crochet in each stitch. One. Oops, two, three, four, and now five and six are going to go together for this round. So here's number five. Oops. And right alongside it is number six. Number six is the new guy, so he's going to stick with five. Okay, let's do that again. Here's one. I don't think I'll ever get used to crocheting at a table, no matter how many tutorials I do. There's two. There's three. And there's four. Here's five. And number six stays with number five. Okay. I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay, and here we are at the end of round six. So I'm just going to finish this round with you. So we've got one, two, whoops, three, four, and here's number six. So this is where number five goes. Five and six stay together. 
Okay, and we're going to join with a slip stitch with the top of our chain two space. If I can get my hook in there, sometimes it's a little tricky. <laughs> a little bit fiddly sometimes. Okay, so that is the end of round six. We are going to continue working in this way. Always going to chain up two. And because now we're on round seven, we're going to increase in every sixth stitch. So six and seven are gonna go together. And then we start it around again. Um, so I will start each round with you, and then I'll give you the numbers for the next round, and we'll go from there. Otherwise, you're just gonna get bored watching me do <laughs> continuous half double crochet stitches. Uh, the important thing to remember always though is that chain is the last stitch of your round, okay? So here's round seven. It is, whoops, one. Oh, I split my yarn. I was doing so well, too. Let's see. Whoops, let's try again. One. Two. Three. four, five, and now six and seven are going to go together. Here's six and here's seven. And then you're gonna start from one and keep working in that pattern all the way around to the end and I'll meet you at the end and we'll start row eight together. I'm sorry, round eight. Okay, that is round seven done. We are ready for round eight, and you already know what to do. You've done this many times now. Chain up two. A half double crochet in the first stitch. Whoops. Get in there. Sometimes they're so stubborn. One. <laughs> two. three, four, five, six, and seven and eight are going to stay together. Seven and eight in the same stitch. I'm gonna work that same way all the way around and I'll meet you at the other side. There we go, we did it again. We made it all the way around to round eight. Um, you're just going to continue in this fashion to make this as big as you want. You could leave it here if you wanted to. If this is as big a washcloth or dishcloth as you wanted, that's fine. You can leave it here. Um, this one I did quite a bit bigger, um, but it is kind of a pretty big dishcloth. So um, it's really up to you how much further you want to take this. And I will give you um, the, the count for the next couple rounds um, and I'll, I'll put them up here in the screen. Um, but really, once you get this far, you must have it down at this point. Um, so what I am going to do is just show you how to finish this off, okay? So we're gonna pretend that this is as long not as long, as big, I guess, as I want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to chain up two and I am going to work, um, I'd say between eight and ten. It's really up to you. We're going to start this part here, okay, the little top part. So I am just going to do some half double crochets I think I'll probably do eight of them. One, two, three, four, whoops, five, 
six, seven, and eight. Now this is all personal preference. Maybe you would want yours to be a little bit wider at the top or narrower, but this works for me, okay? And from here, I'm actually going to change color. So hold on just one moment while I get my other ball of yarn. Okay, for the topper, I think I'm going to just go ahead and use white. I really, sh really wish that I had silver because silver would be perfect, um, but I did not see any silver in this store. So I'm going to show you how I change color. And actually, I'm going to start by taking this out. I'm going to start that stitch again, but I'm not going to finish it. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to trim off some of this yarn, get rid of my red, and I'm actually going to attach my white by just draping it over there and pulling it through all of those stitches. And now I'm attached, okay? I'm now going to do a little chain here and that's going to anchor that in place. I'm gonna kind of tighten that down a little bit, okay? And I'm going to flip my work, turn my work, and I'm going to work half double crochets across here um, into these stitches, but every other stitch I'm actually going to work down into the row below. So I'll show you what I mean by that. I've done one chain. Let me chain up again. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I've chained up two. I'm gonna work into my first stitch. My second stitch, instead of building up at the top, I'm actually gonna build way down here. And that's gonna make it kind of spiky. Okay. The next stitch, I'm going to work right on the top. And the next stitch, I'm going to work way down here again, giving that spike stitch. I actually really like the spike stitch. I just did a blanket all in that spike stitch. It was really pretty neat. The next stitch, I'm going to stay right on top. The next stitch, I'm going to do a spike stitch all the way down here. The next stitch is going to be right on top. And the next stitch is also going to be right on top because I need to work into that chain. And it's always a little tricky working into chains. Just do the best you can. Be patient with yourself. They can be a little fiddly. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now these ends over here might look a little sloppy right now, but don't worry. We are going to tie those together and it's going to be nice and neat. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is chain up two. Turn our work, which basically means flip it over. <laughs> and we're going to work a half double crochet in each stitch across. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Let me give this a little tug there. Boy, that was pulling pretty tight. <laughs> There's five. Oops. And we're just going to keep working that way all the way across. One half double crochet in every stitch. Oh, my puppy's crying again. <laughs> He's such a funny dog, you guys, honestly. He's very dramatic.
there we go. And now it's starting to look a lot like a Christmas ball, isn't it? One that you would hang on your Christmas tree. The last step is super, super simple. We're going to, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my dog. He just is making me laugh. We're going to chain up one, turn our work. We're going to do a single crochet in the next stitch. So no yarn over this time. Single crochet in the next stitch. And now we're going to chain one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm going to stop at six. You can do it however long you want. This is just going to be for your little loop at the top. So I'm going to go with six. And then, well, my goodness, puppy dog, settle down over there. <laughs> Okay, so um, I did six chains and now I'm just going to do a single crochet into the last two stitches and tie off. And that is going to be the end of this project. So there's one. Oh, and now we have to work into that chain again, which can be so stubborn because I tend to pull them really tight. So I'm just gonna use my hook here and loosen that up a little bit. So would you believe I ran out of memory <laughs> on my phone on the very last stitch? So that was kind of funny. Um, all right, so all you're going to do from here, once you get that last stitch in there, you're just going to pull or end through. And that is it. Your project is finished. That is our finished dishcloth. And you can hang it up. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and Merry Christmas. <laughs> I have no idea what time of the year it will be when you're watching this, um, but this is definitely for a Christmas gift type uh, project. All right, guys, take care. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.